Hey guys, this is Ernst once again, and I want to talk to you guys today about finding the right depth to fish in. Um, I came out today, this morning, and uh, my intentions was to fish shallow and fish top water and uh, throw a frog, and uh, it just kind of didn't work out this morning for me. Uh, I'm at a local lake here. Uh, didn't intend on even making a video today. I just, uh, you know, I had my cameras with me, so I, I turned it on and. And I found a few things today that uh, helped me catch a couple of fish, so I thought I might share that with you guys. And uh, that is finding the right depth. Uh, like I said, my plan this morning was to throw a buzz bait and a frog, and uh, just a uh, you know a quick little fishing trip, uh, get a little, little top water bite, and uh, just wasn't working for me today. I just wasn't hitting top water. So what I did uh, is I ran down to the uh, to the deeper end of the lake near the levee. And I thought, well, I'll just throw a square bill on the riprap. And that wasn't happening either. But what I was noticing on my graph was a lot of activity where I was actually sitting. I was sitting in about 10 foot of water, throwing up to the bank, uh, as most of us do if we're shallow water guys. Uh, but what I was seeing is uh, off the bank, there was kind of a, uh, it went out to 10 foot, just kind of gradually, then it kind of dropped off into about, you know, 12 to 15 foot. And those fish were right up on that 10 foot range where I was actually sitting uh, in my boat cast into the bank. So I thought, you know, let's take this chance and fish that depth. So what I did is I turned around and went back to where I started. And I tied on a uh, crankbait and uh, that went, got down there to that 10 foot range. And uh, as you can see on the film at the end of this, uh, I called a monster fish. And that keyed me in on hate. This is the depth that you need to be fishing. Uh, so if you guys are out there, you know, if you're like me, I'm predominantly a shallow water guy. Uh, don't ledge fish, I'm not offshore guy, just, you know, it's just not my thing. But uh, if you see those on your graph, in those uh, areas, in that depth range rather, uh, you know, back off that. You know, it's not too much out of your comfort zone if you're a shallow water guy. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, like I was saying, the, the depth was really key. Uh, you know, I was in that 10 foot range and I was, you know, right on the edge of that lip and I was seeing, you know, fish just everywhere. Uh, so, and that's what I keyed in. Uh, I started fishing that depth range, I started getting bites. Uh, you know, the bites were not real big today. I caught that one right off the bat, the really big one. Um, and then the, I caught another little small one after that. And that was a, uh, what I caught the small one on actually was a, uh, it was a rage bug, uh, excuse me, a rage crawl. Uh, Okeechobee crawl, just a regular rage crawl. I think a three aught wide gap hook, three eighths ounce tungsten. And that was a strictly a reaction bite. I threw that out there, let it sink all the way to the bottom. Uh, engaged my reel and as soon as I took up that slack it was there and uh, I love rage crawls I've got to where I really like them uh, they loaded with that coffee scent and I think uh, you know had it not had any scent in it then that fish would have probably picked it up and dropped it but it stayed on there enough for me to re uh, reel up my slack and set the hook so uh, love those rage crawls I got this on a uh, seven foot medium heavy rod 17 pound fluorocarbon uh, that's a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight so that was good. Now, the big fish that's in there that really keyed me in on the depth that the fish were at, uh, that was the, it was a Z-Boss 10 from Profound Outdoors. Um, hadn't used this crankbait a whole lot, you know, I'll be honest with you, but it, it kind of matched what I wanted to do today as far as the depth that I wanted to fish. Um, I think that's a Tennessee River color from those guys. I uh, had this on a, what have I got it on? Six and a half foot medium heavy action rod, 12 pound. I actually had it on monofilament. This is one of the rods that I, I throw like a, maybe a, a, a top water bait on. I just, you know, threw it on there. Uh, just kind of a spur of the moment deal, really. Uh, lose reel, like I said, 12 pound mono. And, uh, you know, as you can see on the video that's following this, I'll put the big fish on the end. Uh, it was huge, and it was just, the bike today was not uh, just heavy. Uh, I thought 
I had a clump of grass, to be honest with you. And then I reeled it in. Uh, I saw the fish on there. I went ahead and set the hook again and uh, really stuck it in there. So uh, I'm glad it didn't come off. And that was, I thought it was my uh, personal best, but it was just a few ounces short. But uh, anyway, I'll put that uh, those catches at the end of this. So uh, I hope this uh, kind of helps you guys out. I really wasn't planning on making a video today. Just kind of going out fun fishing for myself and found that that I uh, kind of keyed in on and I wanted to share it and I hope this guys uh, hope this uh, helps all you guys out uh, again subscribe to my channel I appreciate it it, it really does help me a lot uh, comment below I've got some videos coming up for uh, some requests that some guys have been wanting so uh, share like comment post your bang and uh, we'll see you guys down the road Look at there, baby! Oh my God! Whoa, man! Choke that sucker! Good night. That may be a new personal best. Oh my God! Biggest pliers. Look at that, baby! Six twelve. Look at that, folks. Six pounds, twelve ounces. Not a bad start for the day. All right. All right, guys. That was my new personal best, and uh, man, it was fun this morning. I'm gonna get some more. Oh. 